All right, up here at the top right-hand corner of the map, Taldrim Altar is our Terran player. He's just gotten a win off of a very fast three racks supply drop cheese rush. It is Incredible Miracles MVP. And down here at the bottom left-hand corner, is the Protoss with one of the top three control in the world. And that used to be a joke, but I actually believe it these days, man. It is Evil Genius's Hawk. Watch his game against Virus. Yeah. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, I won't spoil the results. Because if you watch that game, you'll just be like, oh, this is how This, this, is, is, how this is how Protoss is. meant to be played. Yeah, man. It watch is that actually, game. it was really ridiculous. And Huck just displayed such good decision making and control in that game. He is actually so good. One of the things I like about Huck is he's one of the few players that he'll go into a bad situation and you're like, oh man, he's just gonna lose here. And then 10 seconds later you're going, wait, wait, how did he hold? Yeah. How is he a how did he actually win that battle emphatically? It's, it's crazy. It's really actually just amazing. His force fields are some of the best in the world. Yeah. His timings, his knowledge of how many units he needs to win a battle, when to commit, it's all really, really good. He's micro with the stalkers. Huck's one of the few pros players who actually keeps all those units on different control groups. But enough about Huck. MVP is not doing the same build we saw him do. He is going to keep this probe out of his base again, though. And yeah, Antigua is a really good map for that build. This is not a good map for no, it. No, of course not. Um, you have to proxy your barracks and build a map, and even if you did, it would still take so long. And there's a second ramp that your opponent could shoot at your unit, so it's just not a, it's not a good map for it. Put it simply. Well, by the looks of things, Huck is going to be doing a one-gate expand. Pretty safe build to do on this map, and MVP, getting concussive shells, getting his first Marauder up, looks to be doing a Marauder expand. Hasn't added the second barracks yet. And of course, it is cross position, so trying to do any sort of two racks. Pressure isn't as effective against the quick Nexus. Yep. And in fact, this probe wants to see the command center, and actually, MVP smartly hides his SCV until the probe is chased away. In fact, he may kill it! Nope, probe gets away. Probe gets away, but yeah, if he'd seen the SCV coming out, he would have known it was there to build that command center. And so he would have had that information even if he hadn't technically seen the building. He can pretty much still suspect that's what's going to happen, though. Now, notice Huck has saved a lot of Chrono Boost on that Nexus. It's going to be used almost purely on his gateway units to make sure they can hold any sort of pressure that MVP throws at him. Since he's not absolutely sure what's going on, he didn't even see the Tech Lab on the barracks. Of course, he knows that there's a Marauder out, so he knows there is a Tech Lab, but he doesn't know how many barracks there are. He doesn't know if it's an expansion builder, or if it's a three rack. So he's got that probe alive still. He's scouting around with it. And the additional yeah. two barracks going up now for MVP. Yeah, earlier we saw him checking both checking the watchtowers back and forth just to try and see what's going on on the map, see what MVP is up to, try and get some sense of what's going on. But uh, yeah, Marauders, just a couple Marauders can actually be pretty dangerous because he does have the concussive shells, so that means Stalkers cannot kite those units. And um, he does have three Stalkers out now, and... MVP was just pressuring at the watchtowers, making sure there wasn't a lone stalker there. Because if there is, you always slow it down and Free kill it. Kill. Yeah. yeah. Nexus is done, and Hawk has got four gates in production. He's going up to five gateways here. Will he make a sixth one? He might actually be wanting to do a six gate timing attack. He does have a probe at the top of the map, which is probably going to put down a proxy pylon for the pressure he wants to put on. He's actually oh, sending actually, it now. Actually, he's going to scout with it. Gonna see it if MVP is taking down the rocks for a third. Oh, the probe is spotted. He wants to make a pylon, but he doesn't open the warp field. He was so close to making the pylon. You guys didn't see how close, man. That probe was like literally a millimeter away from the location he had set to build the pylon, but he couldn't open the warp field. Now Huck has no forward pylon and no probe out in the middle of the map to make one. Oh no, and because of Shell slowing down those stalkers. Oh! Gets another shot on that stalker. Huck losing. A probe and two stalkers for nothing. Uh, a situation that could have been really good for Huck actually suddenly totally dropped the ball. Now he's sending another probe to presumably make another pylon in that location, but a bunker is already up. He's going to have a lot more units out than he would have. And Huck smartly makes three more gases. 
Yeah. Gonna be transitioning into a normal game. Yeah, he's like, alright, I can't put any pressure on anymore. I'm just gonna go and go for the mid game. Hawk does have both watchtowers with stalkers. So you can see what's going on. It's always really refreshing to see Prolosses take watchtowers in this matchup. You hardly ever see it. Because they're too scared. Most Prolosses are too nervous. They don't want to get caught out in the middle of the map, lose a stalker, but. Well, it takes, you know, you have to be able to focus on on both those stalkers so that you can see things and then pull away before the stalker dies. Well, even though he did see this SCV with the Watchtower, he may not deny the scout. Looks like he is just barely going to get it. The SCV scout tried to get in, but Huck had the towers he saw it. So he does not know about that Twilight Council. Nor the robotic facility. And lots of sentries being more fit for Huck. He's going to prepare his army for this mid-game battle, you want to have a lot of sentries, especially if you're Huck, when you have Gosu force fields. Yeah, and it looks like right now, as the starport is finishing up, MVP is going to go out for a little timing attack. Right now, he's got Stim, and combat shields are about two-thirds of the way done. It's going to hit right around the same time as attack does, at the same time as plus yeah, one hits. Yeah, same time as plus one. Beautiful really nice timing, timing attack. Yeah. And Huck is going to get caught with not a ton of units, but I think he's going to have enough to hold if he has good force fields on that ram. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit more force fields than a normal normal ramp to hold this. It's going to take three. And oh, Stim goes up, and, and the three force fields. Block it out. And actually and losing oh, some Huck zealots here, but back. And not the best control there, but does trap the army and engages it in a really nice way, forcing MVP back. Nice. And Fighting in a way that you don't normally see, he relied on only his ranged units rather than using zealots to tank damage and be real damage dealers in that fight. And I really like that. He's actually bravely engaging out here in the middle of the map against Marauders with Stim, but he just knows he won that first fight so well that he can win this one. But even so, a pretty good trade for MVP. In fact, trying to escape with those Marauders will most likely get them away. But Blink is well, about to Blink's finish, about so. To finish, so he might catch him. Yeah, it looks like he is going to be able to catch those guys. Oh, oh yes. Gets one, but he might end up losing his stalkers because the rest of these units are coming out. Uh, he close blink, call. He can blink away. Yeah, pretty close call there. Yep. And actually has more stalkers now to engage this. Huck continuing to be aggressive. Actually has so many units out on the map for scouting. He's got three pylons up in the center of the map, so he can continue this aggression. Oh, and uh oh, catching a lot of MVP's units. Oh, blinking to stop them. Doesn't quite block them exactly, but... MVP freaks out <laughs> pulls <laughs> about 20 SCVs to repair that bunker. And it looks like Huck's not done yet. He wants to continue the pressure. Chrono boosting all of his gateways, warping in Zealots now, warping in another Stalker. I'd like to see Huck take a third base as he continues this aggression. He knows that the rocks haven't even been touched by MVP yet. Yeah, he's broken down his own rock. Here, he Here, Here we go. Oh, he's zealot. targeting down the bunker. There's too much DPS in the bunker. And oh, but is he gonna? No, he doesn't repair it. Stalker's doing so much damage. He's able to blink back the injured stalkers as well. He's doing beautiful micro. He may just end MVP's game right now. Beautiful blinking, but the concussive shells just slowing things down. Yeah, but a lot of SCVs have been lost, and six more Stalkers warping in here may change this battle quite rapidly. MVP is in trouble. Now all he's got left is SCVs and dropships, man. Yeah, that's not a good fighting force, and Huck can just go ahead and blink in there and kill everything. Tons of SCVs coming off the line. This is MVP's last defense. And Huck can just continue and to buy time. Every time the SCVs get pulled, he loses a lot of mining. He's already really low. <laughs> MVP actually has no SCVs mining right now. He's just, no SCVs. He's just mining with mules. He knows he needs to defend this or it is the game. And Huck has actually taken the third Nexus as he blinks back now here, killing more and more of these SCVs. Marauder's doing some serious damage, but Huck trading pretty well here. It may be time wow. to go home as these SCVs could surround the Stalkers again because the Marauders are just remaining alive. And that actually evened up the supply quite a bit, that last engagement. But let me tell you guys some numbers. 51 probes us. to 20 SCVs. Wow. Third base is going up for Huck right now. The rocks haven't been touched, and Huck can continue this pressure. Doesn't lose a single stock. Doesn't lose any hit points with that attack. Only shields. So amazing. This attack is going so well. And yeah, Huck just with so many gateways that he can pump out tons of units. Being aggressive again. Again, loses no stalkers, no hit points, only shields. Blinks back, forces repairs on bunkers, that's minerals lost, and MVP can't afford to lose right now with only 20 SCVs. Yeah, and the thing is, Huck was repeatedly warping in like six stalkers at a time, 
now he's not warping in tons of stalkers. That's why his attacks are kind of waning. But that's because he was getting a, another base, getting the assimilators on it, getting charged, getting more probes, getting some forges. So he's really going to have a ton of stuff. Now MVP has really spent the last of his money to macro up a pretty decent army though. Yeah, right now MVP's army is much larger than Hux. He has a timing where if he attacks Hux very soon here and brings a few SCVs, he could actually break Hux. Now, does he realize this? Does he know what's going on? Or is he going to try to sit back and catch up? If he sits back and tries to catch up, he's got no chance. and He's actually going to lose this game. And it looks like he is going to move out, realizing I have to do this now. Actually, he's changed his mind. The longer he gives Huck, the more Huck is going to close that gap in army yeah. size. And here we go. He is moving out now. Not bringing any SCVs with him. Thinks he can beat Huck's army straight up. With good blink control, though, Huck might actually be able to buy enough time. Yeah, he is going to have uh, a lot of force fields as well. He's going to have charge on his zealots. He does not have any upgrades, though, so Huck's going to be behind in that at the very least. Actually, what are the upgrades for the infantry? Right now, the infantry yeah. are at 1-1. Huck has 0-0 upgrades. He's starting to get 1-1 upgrades, but he doesn't have it quite yet. This is a really good timing for MVP. He might be able to turn this game around. Huck taking that ramp. And yeah, Huck having a much better ramp, concave. Actually, all he has to do is use force fields to cut the army in half. The zealots can charge in, and he should win this battle. Island gets taken out here. Good force fields, but actually they're going to work against Huck in the long run. He's going to want to attack as those force fields dissolve. He's losing a lot of zealots here. Yeah. This is MVP's chance. Zealots taking so much fire without doing damage. Now he's going with the zealots. Finally, he's trying to warp in more units, but this might be MVP's game after all. He was so close to being broken, but GG. Huck, Oh, Beautiful man. timing by MVP, realizing that was his last chance. Huck had invested too much in centuries, and those four seals actually ended the game for him. He should have engaged out in the open. Trying to engage on the ramp uh, secured him a better concave at the top, but he didn't make use of it. Instead, he funneled his zealots down a ramp where they couldn't engage. He traded a lot of his zealots, and top three control of Huck actually just kind of fell apart there as he yeah. got stressed out, and he... Didn't think properly, played everything else so beautifully, but lost his cool, I think, is a good way to put it. He just lost his cool, and uh, well, MVP took him out. Like, like I said just before that battle, I was like, all right, well, if he can cut the army in half, the charge lots will kill everything, and it'll be Huck's game. And he went in there, and I don't know if it was intentional, but MVP basically juked the force fields, because he stimmed, ran up the ramp, and then just at the last moment, he actually ran back down the ramp, at the exact moment, Huck will be casting those force fields. So instead of catching half the army for the Zealots, he actually caught about like three or four units. And Huck, unfortunately, couldn't like decide if he wanted to engage or not. So the Zealots just kind of sat there in limbo, letting the Marines kill them. So when the force fields wore off and he had another chance at it, he actually didn't have any Zealots yeah. anymore. I think Huck actually poked one time too many with his Blink Stalkers as well on MVP yeah. and lost. He lost about six to seven Stalkers that last attack, and I was like, well, yeah, he traded pretty efficiently, but he's going to need those stalkers if MVP decides he wants to kill him. He didn't have those. So, anyway, we're going to jump into Dong Rei Gu versus Huck right now. The first map is going to be Terminus. The map is loading. We'll see you in the game.